Hey, 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 it's Uncle Larry and I'm back. And I'm back, Jack. Alright, now, I see my nephew yoke up, you know, rebuking Pastor Javid for, for, for starting out on fire for the Lord and then sort of drifting away and then making his bed with the devil and the atheists and all that garbage and nonsense. So I, I decided, you know, I need my own picking partner. I need someone to pick on too. So I, I'm picking on you, Firefly515. I'm rebuking you. You were on fire for the Lord. Now you're on this atheist star. Thank you, atheist, for helping me out sort of trip. And then you go on and you're exposing the logical fallacies of your Christian brothers and sisters. Don't you know that Christianity is built on fallacies? Life is built on fallacies. Life is very fallacious. You know, like, I, I can be walking down the street and, and a girl, she, she's like, Hey, I'm fallacious. Want to get fallacious with me? You know, and I'm like, No, I don't do that kind of stuff, but I do it anyway. You know what I'm saying? Life is full of fallacious, you know. And, and that's what logical fallacies are built on. They're built on fellatio. So, the more fellatio you have, the more logical fallacies you'll have. And, and that's why, that's why, you know, me and, and Yoke Up and everybody else, that's, that's why we're full of fallacies, because we get a lot of head. That's the only explanation. So you're not getting enough. That's why. That's why you're in the bed with the devil. But if you got more holy head, it, it, you, you'd be all right. You'd be all right. <clears throat> so I got a hotline I, I can give you for holy head, uh, dirty talk hotline. Uh, perhaps it'll it'll get you right. It'll get you on fire again. You know, like like all us true redneck Christians. You know, we we're on fire. We we're on. We, we just light ourselves with a match and we say, Jesus, this for you. And, and, uh, and not even Holy Head can extinguish it. That's how being on fire is. It's, it's something you can't explain. But that's what you got to be, uh, Firefly. In your it's in your name. You got to be on fire for the Lord. Firefly 515. But you're not. You're, what's going on? Getting a little too logical up in here. What what happened to the fallacies? You know, what happened to fallacio? You're 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 not you're not doing the right thing. You're not. Uh, I'm gonna have to talk with uh, with my friend over here. She she gonna hook you up. She she it's holy. It's good. It, it's biblical. You're gonna like it. It feels good too. Uh, let me explain mine when it happened to me. Uh, I was sitting back relaxing, you know, just praying it would be good, and it was good. It made me on fire. It made me get a YouTube camera, made me go on YouTube. So, that, I'm just explaining the stories about how what happened and all that stuff. <clears throat> so, I'm rebuking you, rebuking you for your falsehoods. Now, now you're becoming an old earth evolution kind of person. Remember the cows. Remember what happens to cows when they when they live six billion years old. They don't look too. They don't look too pretty. It only makes sense if the earth is six thousand years old. That's all that makes sense. You know, you you're buying into the lie. There's no evidence for anything. There's no evidence for existence. You know, there's no evidence. You can't prove that I have a pimple on my forehead. You can't prove it. Can't prove it. So why should you believe anything scientists tell you? You should believe what God says. Because proof is devil in disguise. You should not look at proof. That's what, that's the devil. That's, see, in Halloween, you dress up like like different characters and stuff. That that's what the devil does in Halloween. He dresses up like uh, 
the tooth fairy, the sugar monster. That's what proof and evidence do to you. It, it dressed up. It's stuff dressed up. And all you got to do, see, when, when, let's say scientists, when they discover, like, dinosaur fossils, there's usually a human hand on it. But see, scientists, they remove that. And you know why they remove that? Because they, they're accusing the human of sexual harassment to dinosaurs. See, how could you accuse a 6,000 year old human for sexual harassment? Sexual harassment didn't exist back then. God didn't invent it yet. Well, he's all, he's all good, but you know, he, he invented it because sometimes it feels good. That's why he invented sexual harassment. Anyway, you're, you're being rebuked for your fallacious fallacies and, and I mean logic fallacious fallacies are good uh, you know that's what life is built on it's built on a house of cards so you should live on a house of cards uh, I live on the third story where the, with, with the Jack and the King right next door uh, Jack, Jack King Jack King and does that ring any bells to you it shouldn't because that's perverted you know only us only us good Christians make perverted jokes see we're the only people that listen to secular music and make an even more perverted uh, interpretation than the song actually means we just like to do that because we like to shock people and we like to control the music that they listen to. You know, like, take for instance a song, Who Let the Dogs Out? Now, see, a normal, rational, logical, evil, satanic person would say, it's just talking about dogs and who let the dogs out. But see, us good Christians who care about the censorship of our children's music, we know who let the dogs out. We know who the dogs are. The dogs are, the dogs are the whores from from the saloon next door, you know, and 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 they're the, they're they're also the pimps and the dogs and and you know all that stuff, cause you know how dogs have sex, they have it like this, sort of like, like this, well, that kind of look like a rabbit, but but you know what I mean, you know what I mean. It's horrible nowadays, but what, what us. Good Christians are telling, you know, children. But that's good. We we need to put their mind with the filth and reinterpret songs so they're more perverted than they actually are. It's a tactic. It's a scare tactic. We need to scare our children out of listening to secular music. You know, that's all that matters. That's all that matters is that our children listen to Christian music and, uh, and Christian music can't be reinterpreted to be uh, sexual. It can't. Like, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord had made. You can't do that. You can't reinterpret that song. Like, if you try to do it, you sound dumb. It'll be like, this is the day. This is the gay. Look at that. This is the gay. Now, we wouldn't do that to our own songs, but see, day and gay rhyme, but I wouldn't do that to our own songs. That would be blasphemy, you know, blasphemy challenge. What's up with the blasphemy challenge? Whoa, I could deny whatever I want. I deny the blasphemy challenge. I deny Santa Claus, you know. They're, they're denying the Holy Spirit for no reason. You know, that's the only thing that matters. You know, you, you can't deny that. The whole, it, it's what I used to milk cows. You can't deny it. You can't deny the power. Alright, I'm running out of time, so I'm, I'm going to try to keep it short here. You're rebuked, Firefly. 515 for being rational. No, I'm a rational theist. Oh, look at me. I'm intelligent. I, I know how to count. And I know what two plus two is five. Oh, look at me. Uh, that's it. That's it. I'm closing off with you. Goodbye.